What's up, Julian? What's up, buddy? How are you doing in there, brother? You doing good? Yeah, chilling. Oh, making okay. making um, do. Okay, I just actually updated the document a bunch of stuff. You want to read that real quick and then call me back? Okay. Okay, bye. Okay, do that. Yeah. Radio. I like this decision. When I had some discussion trying to work towards having him work on meth due to me having zero rep, I'll start earning for up to his product. My goal is to avoid conflict and to focus on the drug game, jobs, and legal businesses while holding down our turf and name. Wait, that's actually genius, bro. Someone should just smuggle me in a meth lab, a meth table, so I can get my rep up while I'm in here, bro. Fuck it, right? Wait, that's actually genius, no? I get my rep up so easy. Some things have happened between myself, OTT, and Zakid. Discussed the Boris thing with OTT. He said he was close to Boris. He reached out and came back telling me he's staying out of it. And won't get involved in any similar move in regards to an Angels thing. I don't exactly trust him or BSK and I'll only involve him in minor incidents. Anything serious will be strictly GG business. Once again, it is confirmed that we were alone all along. Yep. I believe OTT has business with Team Vinewood. For those that wanted me to confirm that, his actions are... Yeah, that's true. Yo, right. the thing about the yeah. thing about OTT is true. He's working with Lang Buddha, but we don't know in what capacity. Yeah. And uh, uh, Larry had a good point. It was like uh, at one point we've all worked with Lang Buddha, so definitely don't yeah. fucking hate his guts for thing. it. But no, no, no. I told him, look, look, I, I get it. I even said to him, I said, look, we've all been there, and it didn't surprise me. And he needed to do what's best for BSK, and I get that, you know. And well, I'll be fine. I'll do my thing, and you do yours in that regard. And whatever happens, you know, I got your back. He got mine. No, it ended on a very good note. It's like, we're good. It's just I'm not going to involve him in anything that's, like, uh, intricate, you know? Um, but that's, that's cool. Um, listen. No, regarding the PB, guys. Listen. Uh, yeah, I saw it. It's good. Mm -hmm. Listen, I only okay. have, I only have a, one advice, okay? Yeah. Even though you might have a discussion with someone about a certain thing, like, this is what it, it, this is and this is what it will be, at mm -hmm. some point, people will have a subconscious or conscious expectation. Just be aware of that, Okay. Yeah. It, yeah. I don't think it'll be as easy as uh, it's said to be, right? And maybe I'm wrong. Hopefully, right. I'm wrong. But usually, once you give someone something, or when something happens with someone, it just so it just over time becomes an expectation. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And so, the reason why, is, yeah, ex yeah, I get what you're saying. And the reason why I mentioned Sakit in that whole ordeal, uh, I haven't managed to write anything about that yet because it's not that important. But I do want to mention it to you. Um, apparently, like, these two guys were caught selling a like, uh, product on BSK turf. Um, and I guess they like snitched out a little bit, but didn't actually really talk about Sakit much. Uh, but Sakit had called me and told told me about this whole thing and kind of bragged about the situation. Um, not as extreme as I made it out to be, but I was kind of using that as like a, as a way to kind of see how, how OTT would react to those things, you know, in regarding to me and how he trusts me. Yeah. Um, so I kind of exaggerated the whole thing and I told him straight up, like, look, those two guys, yeah, you know, <laughs> those are Sakit's guys and the product he's got, he got it from them and he probably told you to, Told them to push it on, on the block, you know, on Cyprus or whatever. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, Sakit ended up going, meeting with OTT. And, uh, you know, Sakit called me raging, like, you're a fucking rat, this, that, and the other. And uh, anyway, we kind of came to a point where, like, I said, listen, you do you, I'll do me, get the fuck out of my way. Because he started saying, like, yo, I'm only talking to you because I feel bad, you're by yourself, pity this, pity that. I'm like, I don't need your fucking pity. What, the, what are you fucking saying? But he, like, misremembered all the uh, talks that we've had, me and Sakit okay. recently. Yeah. And just, I don't know. He's on a roll, so I'll let him do his thing. I'm sure he's not happy, so I'll look over my back and let people, uh, you know, I make people aware of this. Um, but yeah, so that's where we currently are. I just want to focus on the good things. Um, I did in your name, you know, in honor of you. I uh, I put 500k down a second, 1200 hits first time, so we're up good in that regard. Okay. Plus mill, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try to do it for the culture, you know, keep things alive while you're, while you're, while you're missing. So. And I need you to do me a favor while you're out sure. there, bro, please. Yeah. If you could get in contact with Rhodes and tell him I want to meet with them, please. Okay, we'll do. We'll do it right Only away, Rhodes. Fuck those other motherfuckers. Okay, sounds good. Yeah. Uh, you trust him, right? Or do not trust him. I don't really know Rhodes that well, but I heard what Pet said about him, and I do know that he is, uh, 
you know, he's very stuck in his own yeah. morals, you know, he doesn't really get a fair yeah, yeah. By, by people, so that's Ye good. Both Although he's a petty fuck, it's, it's good in this, in this case. Jaeger, Forehead, and Kyle said if I should talk to any cop, uh, uh, it should mm -hmm. be him. Because I'm ready okay. to fucking snitch out to get less time and talk about all this corrupt bullshit and everything yeah, that's I'm going down. on with it. But uh, I want to talk to someone that's not fucking stupid.